It was a suspenseful and awe-inspiring TV and Internet spectacle that made millions of people around the world stop what they were doing and hold their breath for part of this Sunday. The object of fascination, one man's daredevil leap from a capsule suspended from a balloon floating 24 miles above the Earth, virtually at the edge of space. Part marketing stunt or not, adventurer Felix Baumgartner pushed the boundaries of human endurance with a tumbling free fall from a record 128,000 feet at speeds of better than 800 miles per hour. And with cameras rolling, some 8 million viewers watched live via YouTube, and that too may be a record. NBC's Tom Costello monitored the mission. He joins us now from Washington with more. Tom, good evening. Hi, Lester. Good evening to you. And this team says that Felix Baumgartner broke the record for the highest jump ever, the longest free fall, and he broke the sound barrier at more than Mach 1. He jumped from an altitude more than three times where jetliners fly with all the world watching. Felix, disconnect the oxygen hose. Atta boy. There right, he was at 128,000 feet, standing quite literally on the Release edge the of space, preparing to do what no one had done before. With his mom watching from Mission Control, 43-year-old Felix Baumgartner offered a few words most hard to understand. And then he was gone, beginning a terrifying supersonic dive from 24 miles up. A white dot as he quickly passed 700 miles per hour. Speed 729. The stay began well before sunrise in Roswell, New Mexico, as the Red Bull Stratus team laid out the paper thin balloon and fearless Felix zipped into his high tech spacesuit and capsule. Baumgartner is no novice. He's made harrowing jumps before in Brazil, in Croatia, from 15 and 18 miles up. But today's mission was about breaking a freefall record that had stood since 1960 when Joe Kittinger jumped from 19 and a half miles high and breaking the sound barrier. If his suit tore, the former Austrian military paratrooper faced instant death. He told Jay Leno earlier this year, fear is healthy. Yeah. It keeps me focused and this is exactly what I need to stay alive. This morning, after a brief burst of wind, Bob Gardner's balloon got the green light. There's the release. And two and a half hours later, he was standing where no man had stood before with Joe Kittinger on the radio. And our guardian angel will take care of you. Out of the capsule, Felix was a bullet, 833 miles per hour, Mach 1.24, exceeding the speed of sound. And then with his face mask fogging up, what looked like a terrifying, out-of-control flat spin before he stabilized. Finally, four and a half minutes later, Baumgartner pulled his chute and There's floated to a gentle landing in the New Mexico desert. When I was standing there um, on top of the world, you become so humble, you want to come back alive, you know, because you do not want to die in front of your parents, your girlfriend. It was extraordinary. NASA believes there could be real scientific value in this jump in the cutting-edge edge spacesuit that allowed him to survive this jump and the techniques that could, in fact, be used on future commercial or NASA space missions. Lester? Tom, the question I've heard most of today, what happened to the capsule? Yeah, it also came down by a parachute in the New Mexico desert, and we're told it's in good shape. Tom Costello tonight. Tom, thanks.